Welcome to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park on the big island of Hawaii. We're here uh, in the Mauna, Mauna Ulu area. And thanks for joining me today. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey. Uh, I'm here with a group of students, part of a field geology class. And I wanted to just show you some of the cool things we're seeing here. This was the site of a really historically big and dramatic eruption from 1969 to 1974. And so this eruption started out with a set of fissures or cracks in the landscape uh, in May of 1969. Um, and then over time, that eruption shifted location slightly to the east, down the east rift zone, uh, and eventually built a large shield volcano named Mauna Ulu. So let's start here with um, the fissure itself and just take a look so here we're looking to the east along the eruptive fissure. This was the vent for the magma in 19, May of 1969 when this eruption took place. Uh, we can see the forest over here uh, just to the north on the edge. Uh, and then if we swing around way out there to the south or uh, southwest, you can see some of the forest over there as well. Um, so we can see this fissure here, um, just making some observations. The lava is somewhat coating the surface, um, but we can see it forms a bit of a, a crust. So you can see the, the thickness of the crust right here, maybe a few inches thick. Uh, and this fissure eruption, like all fissure eruptions, actually had gas-rich magma that was being thrown out of the vent. And so as that magma was being thrown out of the vent, it was piling up around the vent. And today is a perfect day to understand exactly what took place. Because if you look just to the north here, on the north side or the left side here, as you look at it, of this fissure, there's a large ridge built up. And if we wander over there and look at this material, we can see that it looks a little bit different. We can see that it's made out of just clumps and clots of lava that apparently just ooze down the sides. So this feature here, this ridge of material, is what's known as a spatter rampart. As this eruptive fissure here was throwing out clots of lava airborne up into the sky, they actually settled down on the north side, the downwind side of the fissure, uh, and built up an accumulation of all this sticky uh, lava that we call spatter. And you can see the way it just sort of oozed down uh, the sides here. So this is what's known as a spatter rampart, a ridge of accumulated lava spatter on one side of the, cone, of the vent. Um, sometimes in places we get this happening around one centralized location, and there it's called a spatter cone so we can come up here just to give you an idea of how big this is it's maybe oh 15 16 feet tall maybe about five meters um, so you can see the top of the the spatter rampart and we can see the fissure here running uh, off in this direction we'll head back down look at a couple more things down there Actually, that's, this is a good place to look at the shield volcano, too. So while we're up here, let's take a look to the east and see what happened to this eruption uh, as it grew. So again, looking here at the spatter and then the fissure here. And then eventually, the location of the eruptive activity shifted and started erupting over here mostly lava with a little bit less gas content to it and built up this beautiful shield volcano here Mauna Ulu and it's about 400 feet tall uh, and it took about 500 years or excuse me not 500 years about five years total to uh, accumulate the height over there there's a few places beyond the trees where you can see some of the steam still coming out there. Um, let's head back down 
to the vent itself. Really cool view here of all the spatter just sticking and flowing as it just dripped down, forming the spatter rampart. Um, you can just sort of imagine these red hot blobs and clots of lava accumulating in this mound and then just sort of dribbling and oozing down the sides. Um, we can actually see how high the lava was here. There's some clear benches. So in the waning stages of this uh, eruptive event, once the gas-rich fountaining of lava was more or less over, the lava drained back down into the fissure. We can see that over here. So you can actually see right across from me here, you can see the lava pouring back down into the fissure itself um, as the lava was draining back down into the fissure and probably moving down the rift zone uh, and eventually re-erupting down at Mount Ulu. Um, some of the cool textural features here, there's these kind of large blobs, um, these mushroom shaped blobs of lava that lie just beneath the coating there and my guess on those is those are larger clots of lava that was erupted out of the fissure but because they were so much larger they fell close to the vent and now they're coated with the lava that drained down into into the fissure itself um, one more look at this one over here the parts of the fissure that form these pits are now little kind of microclimate habitats for a lot of these trees and ferns to start growing in. It's cooler down there, it's protected from the sun, it retains a little bit more moisture, and so it becomes a nice little habitat for some of these uh, ferns and trees to grow in. Again, just really cool textural features where you can see the lava coming down the sides. Um, let's go look at one more interesting feature that's characteristic here. And then we'll go catch up with the students who are heading back to the cars. So, as this eruption was taking place, it was erupting into, of course, the lush vegetation that's on this side of the, of the area. And so we have quite a few what we call tree molds and lava trees, where the lava wrapped around the base of a tree, um, incinerated the tree, but because the lava cooled up against the bark of the tree, it actually insulated the tree for a bit and formed a cylindrical mold that runs through, here we go, here's some right here. Um, so this built up feature here is where some trees once stood. And you can see the cylindrical hole where the tree was. You can even see the impressions of the bark a little bit. Another one right here. So this is where the lava coming down this way would have wrapped up around the base of these two closely spaced tree trunks, kept flowing around it, but because it built up that solidified material around it, um, it preserved the actual mold of the tree on the inside there. So, very cool. Um, so, just giving you a little taste of some of the diverse geology here at Kauai Volcanoes National Park, at the Mount Ulu uh, area. There's a cool trail system here that takes you to all sorts of neat geologic features. Another big tree mold right there. And a, a smaller one, and another one right there. So, but thanks for uh, joining me on this little adventure. Uh, if you can, feel free to donate. There's a donate button on the banner of the YouTube page. Under the video description, there's some links. And at the bottom right of the viewer, there's also a thanks button that will allow you to donate as well. But till next time, thanks for joining me here at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park.